Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome to another episode of New World Anarchy. It is Sunday, May 3rd, 2020. And boy, do we have a lot to talk about. Well, to begin with, this past weekend on Friday, stock market, the Dow Jones, plunged 622 points, which was a significant drop um, because April was the best month. April was a massive rally and it was the best month for the stock market since 1987, which is insane. Um, you know, the stock market gained uh, significantly in the month of April. And then come the 1st of May, we had a pretty big drop, um, 622 points. And as a result of that, what caused that was the fact that Trump reignited another trade war with China. He's begun the same thing that he was doing in 2018 and 19. It feels like the trade war, once again, is escalating, it's reigniting again. And that was the cause of the, the plunge for the stock market, for the Dow Jones on, um, on Friday. That's it, guys. Uh, stock market, Dow Jones doesn't care about over 30 million people being unemployed. No, 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 that doesn't mean anything. It, it doesn't care about manufacturing falling off a cliff. It doesn't care about uh, automotive sales dropping significantly, real estate tanking, retail dead. As a matter of fact, the entire economy is dead zero activity, it's frozen, there's no economy. It doesn't care about any of that. The stock market really cares about the trade war between China and Trump tweeting. Anything Trump tweets? Oh, uh, China, uh, yeah, we didn't like what China did. Uh, we're gonna have to uh, put more tariffs on the, on uh, the exports. Yeah, because China is a problem. It's always a problem. Uh, so, that's what's been happening with the stock market. Um, meanwhile, Warren Buffett, a multi-billion dollar investor, and his love child of a company, Berkshire Hathaway, has had a devastating, devastating loss of $50 billion in the first three months of 2020. So the first quarter of 2020 was the worst quarter for Berkshire and Hathaway in its history. They had the worst loss in its history. And Berkshire Hathaway is a very massive and wealthy company, one of, the, one of the wealthiest companies in the world. They own 90 other companies. They have massive, major assets, investments in uh, Apple, and stocks of Apple, and shares of Apple, and uh, Coca-Cola, and Bank of America. They own uh, another freight uh, railroad, uh, it's called uh, BNSF. It's the largest freight railroad company in North America. They own that company. And to have a loss like that, it's, it's very significant for him. But uh, the man is young. He's only like 90 years old. So he still has a long way to go. Um, I think he's like 93 actually. So he still has, you know, he still has a pretty rich history. Uh, I mean, rich future ahead of him. Uh, it's only $50 billion. I mean, the man was sitting on $137 billion pile of cash prior to that uh, in 2019. So, yeah, uh, I guess you could say there's a fly in his ointment, uh, but he'll survive. He's a survivor. Um, maybe it's karma, right? Who knows? Uh, anyways. I want to divert topics now over from uh, the economy and uh, economics to something to um, that's more a prevailing topic now, what's been going on in the world. Um, I think this is a lot more, uh, this is really imperative uh, what's been happening lately. Um, people are being silenced, people are being censored, um, they're being deplatformed on um, YouTube. Facebook, their accounts are being terminated, all because of um, all because of freedom of speech, because of their voice, because of speaking, uttering words and sentences that they believe they firmly believe 
they have the right to do and they ought to do. It's their birth given right. Rights, right? Um, do people have rights anymore, by the way? Do we, do we have rights anymore? What do you guys think? Because I may get attacked for this, seriously, but I don't really care because I only have like 18 subscribers and I have like over 100 views on these videos. So this video is not gonna gain traction. It's not gonna garner a lot of attention. So I don't really care if I get attacked but, or if I get demonetized or deplatformed from YouTube because I have a voice and I'm going to express, I'm going to damn well express my freedom of speech. I don't care. I'm gonna do whatever I think is right. Whatever I speak is the truth. I don't care. But we don't have rights anymore, guys. We don't have rights anymore. Our rights are dead. They're buried underground. They're underwater, floating, lifeless, dead. Okay? We don't have rights anymore. Our rights have been deliberately taken, taken from us. They have taken our rights, our freedom of speech, okay? The First Amendment says that Congress shall make no laws prohibiting the freedom of speech, the freedom of the press, the freedom of peaceful assembly, okay, the freedom of the, pe the people to peacefully assemble, and to petition and redress the government's grievances. We don't have that right anymore. You know why? Because it's been taken. Ooh, taken by whom, you may ask? Okay, how about this? It's been taken by the global corporate fascist system, okay? You know who that is? Apple, Google, Facebook, Microsoft. Yeah, that's America. That's the world at this point, okay? You have, it's like David Icke said, you have a technocracy, you have a technocratic system of rule, okay? First, what they do, uh, they take away your voice, your freedom of speaking, your freedom of speech. That's what they do first. Second, they take away your beliefs, your fundamental core beliefs of what you have in the world or what you believe as rights, okay? Lastly, the last blow, the death blow, the slaying of the dragon. They take away your ability to think, okay? They suck away that from you. You have no ability anymore. What's been happening with uh, your ability to speak? That was first, right? That's been going on for years now at this point. It's nothing new. No, 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 no. So this man, this, this, this person was taken away his rights of speaking, deplatformed, his account was terminated. It's been happening for other people too. It's just people that you may have heard of. And as a matter of fact, this has been a trend. It's a pattern that's been going on. For, for years, it's just we're beginning to awaken and acknowledge it more and more every day. But a lot of people are still asleep. They're still in their lullaby, dazed and confused and um, culling state. That's what it is because most people still believe <laughs> they live in the facade and the delusion that they still have rights. You don't have rights anymore, guys. You have a fascist state. You have a corporate fascist state that own and rule you. You are a pawn, are a puppet, just like me and everybody else, okay? So your rights are being taken away every single day, all right? And any person that speaks against it will be silenced and censored, just like what's happening to Brian Rose and London Real and David Icke, they're being deplatformed. Um, aside from that, we have, <laughs> this is very, very sad and very unfortunate, by the way, too, but it's the truth. We have a generation of sensitivity, okay? We are living in the sensitivity generation right now because anything that you say, you know, you know what's going to happen? It's going to offend somebody. Oh, it's going to offend somebody. It's so sad. We can't offend people. No, 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 no. That's bad. That's very bad. We have to be careful of what we say because it's going to hurt people's feelings. It's so bad. You shouldn't hurt people's feelings. You should be nice all the time, even if it means to uh, having no opinion. Even if it means to having no opinion. Wow. No opinion. Which means you shouldn't even speak. 
No speaking. No. Silence. Be quiet. No speaking. No, 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 no. It's bad. So anything you say will offend people, okay? Jordan Peterson, a great thinker, a great man. Jordan Peterson said that in order to be able to think, you have to risk offending others. That's what critical thinking is, okay? That's what critical thinking is. That's what opinion is. You have to have opinions. If you offend people, who cares? That's what freedom of speech is there for. We have the right to speak. You have the right to speak. We all have the right to speak. <sighs> it's just, it's unfortunate it's like that. Um, but that's the way it is, you know. Political correctness. What political correctness is, like George Carlin said, political correctness is fascism pretending to be manners, okay? We have a generation of such sensitivity, of such alert and highly uh, sensitive people that anything you say will offend them, whether it's about religion, whether it's about gender, whether it's about sexuality, whether it's about um, taboo topics. Everything is taboo now, okay? You can't sit somewhere and have a normal conversation with somebody because it's taboo. It's going to offend somebody across the table in Starbucks. <laughs> um, but political correctness is, is um, it's a virus. That's what it is. It's a virus that's going around infecting people's minds, saying what you can and what you can't say. That's what it is. We have to realize that, okay? We can't have this generation of this sensitivity, this inordinate sensitivity. Another, another guy said, uh, Dan Pina said that political correctness is the manifestation of a lack of self-esteem. Because most people nowadays, let's face it, most people nowadays have no self-esteem. They have no confidence. They have no sense of worth and value of themselves. So that's why they get easily offended and triggered. Okay? We have to realize that. We have to acknowledge that. We have to accept that it's the world we live in. We can't be constantly being brainwashed by MSN, by mainstream media, because the information that you're being fed through mainstream media, it's all trash. It's all lies. You know, like I mentioned in my past video, the world as a whole, it's being controlled and manipulated by three things, all right? Three things govern, control, and rule the minds of everybody around the world, okay? Greed, fear, deception. That's what you have. You have an explosion of fear, you have an explosion of greed, and you have an explosion of deception. And those three things have been governing, ruling, and controlling, and manipulating the minds of millions and billions uh, of people around the world for a long time, very long time. We have to disconnect from that. That avenue is poisonous, it's a virus. MSM media, that lovely box in your living room, that's a virus. It's a very potent virus. It's a programming virus, it's programming your psyche. It's feeding you nothing but those three things. That's it. People, we have to, we have to try and, we have to try and come together because I see a population of people outside now, they're, they're always on edge, they're very angst, they're anxious, they're just filled with anger. Um, anything you say will just cause them to get angry or to, to, to want to engage in, in violence. Uh, people are very hostile. There's, there's a flurry of hostility and animosity nowadays. It's just people are, are on edge constantly when they're driving, when they're walking, when they're shopping. It's just, it's, it's, really, it's really shocking to see that, you know? I mean, we're humans after all, right? We have a brain, we have potential, we have, <laughs> we have opposable thumbs, we can think. You know, we have hearts, they beat. It's just, it's, it's sad that we don't have a population anymore that has compassion in their heart, kindness in their eyes, and intelligence in their brain. It's just, it feels like it's been wiped off. It's been substituted, replaced by this box, digital pocket 
portable box now that we carry in our pockets every single day. We watch, we scroll through Facebook, social media, Instagram, Twitter. That's just, that's the, that's the world we live in now, unfortunately. Um, guys, I mean, we have to, we have to really come together as one, you know, we have to come together in unity, otherwise this will just continue. It's a trend, it's a pattern that they're trying to instill in us every single day, more and more each day. And uh, it's going to have devastating ramifications on a global scale unless we wake up from that, that delusion, that facade, because that's all it is, it's a delusion, it's a facade, it doesn't exist. Real life, you know, when you go outside your door, that's real life. The people you speak with, you engage with, the people you hug, you kiss, you know, you love, that's what really matters, because it, at, at the end of the day, none, none of this really matters. So, be well, be kind. Be generous, guys.